Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel, Neil Bone Fishing. I Neil Bone went out there to try to catch some fish yesterday. Nothing. It was so cold out there. But anyway, today I got a video for you about the rabbit baits. I call these the raby baits, the ones that I made myself. And I'm going to show you in this video how you can make your very own. If you want to trim them down to the size of the rabbit baits, you can. But it's very simple, and I'm going to come over here to the table, take you guys with me. And show you how I get down with these baits. Very easy, so you're gonna like this. It's great. I love it. Let's go. Alright, so I'm gonna try to break this down in the steps. Like step number one, I would say. Make sure you have yourself some thread, right? So you're gonna need this. It might be easier to cut your thread beforehand. We're gonna leave that there. We're gonna need that thread. It's a pretty important part of this. gonna need your fur as you see I have been butchering this fur up so what you want to do is you want to part this out it's like you know you get to play with doll hairs you know it's like the same same hair that was inside them trolls that's what it reminds me of, like troll hair all right Let's see how we looking. Give this dude a mohawk. Like that. Work these up. Trying to not be in the way of the camera so you can see what I'm doing. Alright, so we got a good hairdo going right here. We're going to take our fingers. We're going to pinch this off. You know, maybe they make a clip you could just clip on and then freely just use your hands. But I just go like this. I grab it. Clip this off. There we go. We got our fur. Gonna bring it all together now. Without losing any. You know, try to keep it even. Get as close together as you can. This way you could just grab it out of your hand, give it a good pinch. And you got your fur in hand. Now this is where the string comes into play. Take your fur, lay it over top of the string. Hands are like clinging to everything. Now we're going to tie an overhand knot. I'm just going to pull all the strings together like magic. Ready? There we go. See, put them all together. It would have been nice if I could have got it down a little further. That may not be too late. Maybe I could slide that down. I would imagine. So, so slide that down. Yeah, we could. We could slide it down. I'm just going to have to pull these strings again. There we go. We got down closer. Now I'll put another knot on the other side. It's a little tedious, but it's not too bad. Especially when you can't fish because it's cold and just crappy weather. And you can do this as much as you like. So that's pretty good there. Now to clean this part up, I'm going to take this string... And just start wrapping it around. Just gonna bring it together. Make it look better. If we put a little glue on that thread, it's gonna hold it down when we wrap the other thread. Oh. There we go. Now that drop's gonna help this side. Keep the uh, thread from unwinding. So there we go. We got our uh, little fur. Put that thread off. 
trim this up. You probably want to do this over a trash can or something because these little furs get everywhere. But I'm going to just do it right here for you guys. And uh, you can get it as clean as you want. It's about good enough for me. And what I'm going to do is, with this liquid stuff, I'm going to just put one drop here to keep all of this together. So if it gets bit, it don't fall out. And just quick, with your finger, rub it. Alright, that's together. So that's your first step. Alright, now step number two. We have our bait. This is like the best bait to actually make these with that I found. It's the easiest. So that's why I'm using this bait. Only because it has this cavity just at the butt of it. And what's cool about this Yum Ned bait is it's very buoyant. I mean, this thing is so flimsy too. It's like you got to see the underwater footage. Maybe at the end I could try to find like a little container to show you what this would look like in there under the water. But this here, you could add a scent in there. But what's good about it is when you cast this out, this cavity makes it bubble. And um, it floats. And that's not the reason it floats is because of bubble. You could cut this off. This plastic just floats. But this is the second part. These are the glues I like to use. I like a liquid super glue. And I like a gel glue. And I'll show you why I like the gel glue. So uh, now that we have this all glued up. This is rock solid. We'll take this. Spin it up in here. Now we gotta dress it up. Look how clean it looks. I mean, you're not going to find a bait to get it that clean. That's why I really love this bait. I've tried it on other things and stuff, but it's a little difficult. But with our gel now, let me clean this off. One thing about the gel, you squeeze it and it just still wants to keep coming out. So with the gel, darn it, it's doing it again. We could take this and stick this up underneath. Stick that in there. Give it a little squeeze, quick pull it out. And you just go like this with your finger. You rub it around and it's gonna catch. It's really massaging that in there. And a little glue goes pretty far away with this. I mean, this is gonna last you as long as the bait, the fur is gonna last you, as long as this bait lasts you. So that's the cool thing about it, is uh, once it dries up, it's really in there. And it's nice and round, it just looks clean. It looks like you would buy it like that. And that's how I do it. That's how I make the rabbit baits. I call them raby baits, because some of them look ugly. I went through trial and error. I, um, let me see. Like you see, these were some of the first few. They look a little like not as clean. But with the gel, I was able to get it really clean. Because after I get it in there, because once you put glue in and you try to stick this in there, this is what happens. If you put the glue in first and then you stick this in there, it catches. And as you push it, it makes this bubble up. But this was the cleanest way I found to do it. And that's really in there. It's not coming out. And that's how I do it. That's how I make the rabid baits. Knockoffs. Call it like, like I said, call them the rabid baits. But I got a bunch here. And it doesn't take long at all. You know? So... Just an idea, something you could do. And um, we'll see what this thing looks like underwater. Let me try to get a, a cup or something to show you guys. Got this little cup here that I'm going to put the bait in. I just want to tell you guys that the fur is about 2 to $3 at the store. I think it was like $2 per sheet. Because I think I got three sheets for like 6 bucks. And, you know, the glue is like, uh, you can get that at the dollar store. 
And I just want to say that these baits are about $3 a pack. So I figure you just do the math yourself, you know. It's a little cheaper way of getting your own baits that are similar to rabbit baits. But I'm going to show you this in the water now. You can see the little hairs. They really, you can see the, the jiggle in this in this bait. It's really nice. It's really floaty stuff. That's just going to look good in the water. A little bit of current. I mean, there's like no current in that thing's just moving. And a little bit of current, you're going to really get these things to really look great. I wish I had something better to show you in, but this is pretty good. You get the idea. Not bad, not bad at all. See, this bait's great because it just stands straight up. You couldn't make this thing fall over if you wanted to. All right, I'll just drop it in freely. Just goes right back up. All right, well. That right there is going to wrap up this video. And uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Definitely fun to do, and it, it works out good. I just want to say I got a giveaway coming up pretty soon. I want to get some things together and, uh, you know, do a little give back. All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed the bait making. I think it's really cool. It's definitely an easy way to make these baits and stuff. And uh, I just want to say thanks for watching, and uh, I hope you enjoyed. And stay tuned because I have a giveaway coming up pretty soon. I have some ideas I'm going to put together and, uh, you know, find a way to give back to some of you guys, you know. Anyway, catch you next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.